Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant World Honorverse. I did notice something off camera that these are in fact not uh, totally devo devoid of troop transports. 11th Fleet has two troop transports. That's pretty dangerous. I'm not sure if we... They're heading to Aurelon and we have the uh, 14th Fleet heading to Nantare. I don't think we can take both, so we're gonna redivert to Aurelon actually. I don't think we're going to be able to beat 11th Fleet because if we stop and pivot, I mean, even Strike Delta will barely, is pretty much at the same distance away from Aurelon. But if we have to stop and turn, we'll drop out of hyperspace, and so that's going to really slow down our progress. So we're just going to charge forward, and once we get to Nantare, I'm going to retask um, our troop transport to go to Aurelon instead. Because Aurelon has a quality, really high quality, something that we'd actually like to take. 91%, I mean, that's that's really impressive. Versus Nanta Ray, which is like 55%, I think. Yeah, 50, 56. So, uh, yep. The other thing I wanted to do is start queuing up some more research. I think after, after we are able to get out the next tier in um, improved missiles, we should start moving towards the Titan Blaster once again. And then we might go back down and spend some more time on troops. Once we have that Titan Beam, um, I mean, the ideal is to have Titan Beam and the Assault Missile, which are the two end game. Uh, the, those are the two end game weapons, even though we won't have them upgraded to their end game form we can at least start putting them on ships and their size won't change, they're just their capabilities will. So we also have some stuff like this. Um, I'm fine with just even the slightly worse off fusion reactor, although the end game fusion reactor is coming very quickly after that. But also to keep in mind that every research tech as the tiers go up gets more and more difficult. So, so we will bounce our units off Nantare and onto Aurelon eventually. In fact, the first fleet is already there, but they don't have any, obviously they don't have any, they have zero troops. No, how do I do this? Like this. Okay, good. So, we will get first fleet to move to this moon. Okay, good. So, engineering, energy engineering facility. This is another runes. Not one which is totally blank. This one actually gives us an empire-wide energy research bonus of 50%. That's phenomenal. Oh, it's a nice planet. At least its quality is above 60, so I would consider... Yeah, I would actually consider selling this. Where the hell are you, though? Oh, wow, way up here. Well, it is useful. I mean, 50% bonus to energy research is just insane. It's essentially another wonder. So, we'll, we will prioritize that eventually, but... I mean, getting to ice research is going to take a long, long time. And we will be prioritizing that. I guess we'll just, this will be our next step in high tech. And we should also really consider spending money to uh, to start fast tracking those things. Because now, if we can fast track ice research, not only does is colonization, should it be our next focus, but on top of that, it will now improve our energy research the faster we get there. So, we'll... Two, two reasons now, two extremely important reasons when we only needed one for us to fast track the colonization path. Okay. Pickets are doing good. We are reorganizing eventually. <laughs> okay, colony ship has completed its mission. Okay, she's just back home at Manticore, ready to go wherever we sent her but we still don't have a place to send her. We also have this exploration ship come back home. That's good. It, it'll be useful every now and then just to do something like this. Explore near some explore system and that apparently is this system. Wow. And we don't have anybody else there? You know what? Go ahead and go there then. I'm surprised. While we're giving that order, we might as well give it to be uh, let's do it this way. Just explore everything in this sector which has not been done yet. So there we go. That way I don't have to keep retasking. 
Another one has completed their mission. This one, ah, yeah, this one. Okay, so now we will get all the systems in F1 covered. Yeah, so we, we wouldn't beat the 11th fleet there. They only have two troop transports, so I'm just hoping... Okay, by the way, there is a big difference. Not to raid doesn't have any garrison, really, but Aurelion does. So we have to kind of hope that actually the Andermanis lose that fight. Aha, uh -huh, another one. Well, we'll leave this one here. I think we were slowly trying to regather all the ships back to, to Manticore. Okay, we have a gas mining station under attack from a cruiser. We did get a picket here, acting on the information that we we knew that these guys were coming. So we will engage them, and look at this guy's coming to us half already defeated. So that's fantastic. Ah, this is less fantastic. This is a cruiser as well. Okay, we'll get first, we'll actually get these guys to, let's see, what's the speed? 15 versus 20, yeah, 28, that's actually quite fast. So let's get these guys to escape. We have a fleet, eventually we'll, we'll retask, um, oh wow, 11th fleet is arriving. So never mind, just move here. We won't need... Yeah, there it is. Now you won't need to do anything, just yeah, attack this. It's unnecessary for you to <laughs> flee. Since the 11th fleet has nicely timed it. So we got to take a look at these troop transports. One here. Cruiser. It has this double bump front. Really obnoxious double bump front. There it is. And troop transport here. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of firepower they're packing. Knowing that we will be, uh, I mean, it's possible that they'll be able to take the planet. Okay, there it is. Battle has started. The Masadans have a 2 to 1. That's probably because the other troop transport hasn't gotten there yet. Although these battles, they don't necessarily last that long. Oh, by the way, I need to make sure, yep, my guys got to, we got here, so let's get strike. We have eight ships. So there it is, there's our Olympic class, we'll get the Olympic class over here, and then the rest of Delta to move as well. Okay, so move to this planet, and then Delta. Strike Force Delta, come to this planet as well. So we're going to lose now to Ray, but like I said, this will just be, oh, a monetary gift, okay. We will take those. Thank you. And I think now we also have, if we want to do a bit of multitasking, we can try to get the Cheerful Splendor is basically ready to go. Daunting Discovery. What are you? Okay, so why don't you come back home? I don't know why you're not coming home. Please do. Refuel Planet Core. Cheerful Splendor, why don't you refuel at Planet Manicor? That's like the the thing to do that shows me that you're ready to go. So we actually have some, um, let's see, do I have anything's hotkeyed? Uh, I have this hotkeyed. Let's make this. Yeah, we don't have anything else down to number six, which I don't know what this is. This is a construction ship. I don't know, I don't remember why I have this hotkeyed, but I don't think we have any planets up in the high numbers, which I was using to remind myself of things we need to keep doing. It might not be a bad time for us to take a breath, a quick breath, and look at some of the places we might need to, some of the resources that we might be able to get our hands on. Because I, I obviously haven't been doing a very good job of, oh, I, I think we were just going to build in Gyanuses, which means that all these guys come back, that's going to be the, the, the mission. We weren't able to get to this planet, which just has 68% castle on it. It would have been nice to get that, but we can get both this one. We already have someone going to build here. We want to get this, get Kuisa. So who's the one that I just got? It was Cheerful Splendor, right? 
Okay, Cheerful Splendor is already at Splendor, uh, I mean, is already at Manticore. So she doesn't have to refuel there, she can just, I, I can task her to build right away. So we'll get her to build on here, which has great resources. This one has none, right? No, yeah, okay. So I, want, I know I wanted to build here. I want to build just an, uh, an ore mining station. Because this doesn't have anything as lead, iridium, and steel. Always good, nice to have um, enough of those resources. I think we're doing really, like, just fine. Uh, maybe another way we can do this is by... We can sort by our stockpile. So we're going to have some problems, obviously, with luxury goods, but let's see what's our lowest strategic. It's a little... Um, it's not quite... It's not the most accurate way of looking at things, because some things just you don't need as high of a stockpile of. But at a first glance, it'll give us an idea. Our lowest strategic resource is Emerald Crystal. Yeah, okay, this is actually one worth getting, I think. Dilithium Crystal, always a problem, always a problem. In fact, knowing that we have already 27K is actually um, kind of a relief. So we need to look for Emerald Crystal and Dilithium. We don't really need to worry about gold. Looks like we're gonna grab more gold just in the process of doing various things anyway. Four, four sources already, so we're doing okay there. Carbon fiber, yes, that usually is. It usually tends to be one that you can try to get stockpiled a little higher. Three sources of polymer, I'm, that's a good number. Okay, let's focus on emerald crystal and dilithium crystal. So just go into alphabetical here. Let's go by, uh, so if we wanted, we could sort by our empire priority, and it's not gonna show us anything because we don't have any strategic resources. It's just it's asking us to get the Loros fruit. Well, let me tell you, I wish we could, but this is already, I don't know why it keeps showing this as to me, uh, up to me, but I can't actually get it. It's already, there's already a mining station there. The Solarian art, people have already taken it. Maybe a faster way of figuring out some, I mean, okay, actually, yeah, this is one of the ones I was already gonna target. So let's see who else is in the Kyoti system. Ah, Wild Scheme, you are, are, okay, so good. We'll get Wild Scheme to also build in Guyanese's. We'll get them to build over here on Ogrita. So we know that Ogrita also should get an Ore Mark III, very good. All right, but now let's start scrolling way down this list and see where is the next... I mean, if you have this automated, if you only have one mining station style, which includes ore and luxury, you can just scroll down this and click, and you'll automatically... I mean, you can just automatically queue up a construction ship. If you do things automated, it's just a little easier, but I, I, I don't mind doing it my slightly worse way. They are really pushing. Okay, here's Osalia. I don't think we need that. Okay, let's move out of our system. So maybe they do want us to push gold for us. Maybe our gold supply is a little bit low. In fact, this is a fantastic little group. And this is in Shadusta. Okay. I will mark this one as uh, one of the things, one of the plants we should get next. Because this is good. Radium steel and gold. I don't know, I'm seeing some gold popping up here, so maybe we are a little bit low on gold. Um, let's see. Yeah, because we have Pantu 4 they're asking us to get, which just has gold. Looks like we might also be running a little bit low on helium. I find that hard to believe. I'm just trying to scroll and look for luxury resources. That's what I want the most. And I, I thought it might be easier to just scroll here. Oh, this is a great planet, Gurky. Whoops. There it is. Oh, Gurky, what? So we don't have this. Yeah, this, I mean, this is absolutely, a, I think I had a um, base here and it was actually destroyed and I didn't re-hotkey this planet. So, let's see, do we have any other, no, I, I guess not. You are returning from quite a distance, you're still returning. 
and then everyone else has been sent out. Okay, so the next person we'll get, we'll, we'll focus on getting Osepa down in the Shadasta, and then we have one in the Gurky system we need to return and get. I don't know, this one is such a high priority. I, I feel like this is a higher priority for me, so let's get... Let's get, um, let's see, I tasked Wild Scheme. I'm gonna get the Cheerful Splendor to call off her mission to the slightly further away the one, there's one of them which is right next to the Guyanese's Three Colony, and that's the one where you're sending uh, Wild Scheme to. Cheerful, Cheerful Splendor has the one by the pirate base, so I'm going to send her away instead. You will instead build an orb station here. And I don't think this has any, I mean, these are all, these are three fantastic strategic resources. Okay, so good. We spent our five minutes to at least retask our other construction ships, give them something else to do instead of just sitting around. That's why there is a huge advantage to playing this nice and slow. Uh, where? Okay, I, I could not find my other ships. Why don't you guys go ahead and just blockade this planet? They'll be able to take care of killing everything. We will also be able to take care of killing everything. How's that battle going, by the way? They did land their second wave. Oh, it's neck and neck. Okay, so we don't want to land our troops yet. Because unfortunately, the Andermani will take control of the rate of the... I don't know how it works. I just always try to make sure that the enemy fleet... the Sorry, the enemy troops are destroyed <laughs> before I invade. Okay, Sphinx is still being attacked, but we have defensive Sphinx. That shouldn't be too bad. Should be an instant kill for us. There it is. Go back to holding on that planet. Go back to Delta. Masatans want to end this war. No, we will fight on. We could put them as a subjugated dominion. Okay, the Salarians have now uh, stated or ended hostilities with the Masatans. I'm sure that was on the Salarians' terms. I'd like to demand something or at least take something. So we'll take this, the Flugajo. That will be our our prize from the war. Assuming the Andermanis don't take it. Oh my gosh, it is so close. And are they also now invading Nantare? They're not there yet. Oh good, so we had that point defense breakthrough. We're back to improve missiles. And we've set up um, the advanced, the, you know, moving on in that. Okay, the Silesians have declared peace with the Masadans. It's just the Andermani and I, I think, that are still engaging. I want First Fleet to continue to blockade this group. It's not really going to matter, but it does give... So what it should be doing is providing space control. Yeah, it's a 25% bonus. Although maybe I shouldn't be providing the space bonus. It's so close. Let's actually be very mean and abandon those ground forces as much as possible. We have... Oh, look at this! The war between the Aramani and the Masadans has ended. Well, that's strange. You didn't let the ground troops know that. Just in time so that Nantare was not... I, I mean, I'm not reading this right. I'm not reading this incorrectly, right? Andermani and... Has ended. So Nantare will remain in... Uh, I don't think that they'll begin that invasion. Yeah, the 14th fleet has re-diverted, so that is good news. Wow, so we're actually going to end up getting all the colonies now. They may be just waiting to pull their fleet off. Wait, no, the troop transport's right here. Okay, Protector of Grayson, Masadans are really trying to end the war with everyone. <laughs> Not surprising. Will it be before this happens? It's... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the Andermani are down 19 to 3, so we can move our troops back. Let's have you guys go blockade. Where's my troop transport? That's the one I really want. There she is. Just move back over.
Pretty soon this will be over. And th you know what? They actually did a great j justice to us. <laughs> Not injustice, but a great justice to us. They have um, already weakened the Flugo F Flugajo um, planetary defense. We have another area which is being attacked. Where the hell are you? Dispar I don't think we're going we're gonna to be able to get this one. They're only sending destroyers. The Handawinis, by the way, have been funding all these operations, these all these um, de destruction of all our resort bases and all that. As soon as this war with the Masadans ends, we're going to go at them hard. Like, that'll be the entirety of our focus. Yeah, but until then, it's just kind of a waiting game where we just wait for... Masadans. Okay, we're first waiting for the Andamanis. A lot of waiting for troop battles. 2k, 1k. Somebody else com completed their mission. Two people actually completed their mission. Okay, what's your nearest unexplored system? Why don't you go and explore all systems in G2? There was another one who finished at the same time. So the Mary Scheme, you should not do the same thing. So I will return you to Manticore. And you can be retasked there when there's something we can actually use you for. That should be the end of this invasion. Not quite. They're down to 1k. You can see that they're just hanging on by a thread now. Somebody else is under attack. Where are you? Strike Charlie. I don't even know where Strike Charlie is and why they're there. Oh! Oh, I think I sent you over to destroy the base on this planet. Yeah, by the way, how are things going, guys? We have this construction ship, which would be a, a real prize. Is anybody going to try to react to that? No. How about we get Bravo to do that, because they're a little bit closer. And Alpha, you guys just move to this planet. That is the next goal, um, if things go well and we are able to take Varelon. That's actually the one with Chaotians on it. Okay, this fight is now over. So let's go ahead and land our own troops and take two of the planetary invasions. Attack. So we're invading Flugajo. There it is. We've invaded it. And 1830k. So our troop general apparently is <laughs> giving negative odds. Good god, that's terrible. So that, that's a little unfortunate. We will move this group in and we'll get first fleet to blockade it. First fleet to blockade it. What's, which one's this? Oh, they're being attacked by that. Okay, yeah. Strike Alpha, that's fine. Just go do this. I see that the construction ship already left, so Strike Bravo, you just move back to the planet then. This is just a frigate. We're nothing nothing much to worry about. I want, I'm want. i much more interested in what's going on on this planet. Ah, uh, yeah, it's 36k to 50. I mean, we should... Yeah, we have space control now because I'm now blockading. So we're in good shape. We should easily win this. Even though apparently this troop general is not the best one to have long. Minus 10%. Good to know. Good to find that out. But Alright. So they're destroying this. I, I didn't send a reaction force or anything. We don't really have the... Oh, I guess we actually are building up a monetary supply again. I would really like to use this on this. 800,000. Way out of our... Way out of our range. Could also prioritize missiles. But I don't think we're going to need the weapons improvements for the in the near future where am I going not to Nantaray I'm going back over here yes to this planet this is what really interests me see how quickly we win this these are happening pretty quick that's good okay so from that base they took a lot of stuff as long as they didn't take credits. <laughs> Base will be resupplied eventually with strategic resources. That's just fine. 
Yeah, this is this is over. This is clearly over. So we're going to have our first um, additional colony through Conquest. And everyone else is at peace with the Masadans. This is actually kind of a nice situation to be in. We can really slowly, at our own pace, eke along and gobble, gobble up the rest of the colonies. Now the problem is we can't really leave Flugujo Flugujo <laughs> because uh, they're going to constantly revolt. It's going to be mostly a Biscaran population. They're going to revolt while we're at war. Who needs refueling? Good God. Can you guys refuel at this planet? That's why I don't get these messages all the time. Uh, is there anything else I missed? We're under attack. We're under attack. Um, we weren't able to defend Dispari 3, but at least they just raided the place and left. We'll have to put a picket over there because that's not going to be the last time. And then ultimately we're gonna we're gonna go after this big that's the Handuini home. It won't be easy. I mean it's gonna be I don't know which is actually gonna be more difficult. To take the uh Masadan home port, which is eighteen hundred shields, but the firepower of seventeen hundred is insane. Now this range, ah yes, this range, that's why I wanted to make a light cruiser at. It's all coming back to me now. So as soon as we have this uh, research in fusion physics, I guess it's time for us to build that light cruiser. Okay, wow, so it worked. We've done it. We have done it. Well, uh, you may think that that's it, but you're wrong, unfortunately. We just are going to leave, we'll probably leave Strike Delta here to defend. We're going to slowly start building up. This is a colony which I could actually see being uh, a medium spaceport, not a small one. Certainly if we had taken over Nanteray, that would have been just a small. I'm just going to leave both my fleets here for now uh, because there's going to be a lot of invasions going on with... Uh, sorry, a lot of rebellions on that planet. So we're going to need all our troops there. In fact, we'll probably need to ferry over more troops. So let's actually get you let's go over to manticore no manticore where are you there you are and get our troop to move back over here you can see actually in the time that all that other stuff was going on we uh managed to build up all the rest of our chaotian strike troops and the, remember one of the two that we landed on that planet even though we won one of the two was the weakest, the green troops, that didn't have the upgrades that all these other guys will. So we can ungarrison a lot of these guys as well. Um, I, let's just leave maybe one on the planet. Now, what I can do is just load the troops, and it'll load all the ones that aren't garrisoned. So... Yeah, and then... We'll have to get those guys to resupply. The ones who are going to defend that planet are going to just continue to take losses. So they'll slowly be bled out unless we uh, we can get reinforcements over there. But let's just try to end the war. And I feel like the best way of doing that, we don't want to take the Masadans over entirely. We'll just do this in two stages, I feel. We'll take over... No. We'll take over Arelon. We'll take over Nanta Ray. I, I really don't like to, but we might as well. Um, and then we'll take over, the big one is going to be this, Halmat, the Halmat Penal Colony. And then we don't even have to use up First Fleet, just sacrificing them to the huge space station here. We could go over here and destroy all their mining stations and everything. I think their economy has already been crippled, if I'm totally honest. I don't think that there's much point to do that. Hmm, I mean, it would really put them back, so... Yeah, maybe we will do that, because it won't cost us anything to go over and destroy everything but that large space station. Co uh, we'll ask for a piece at that point. I don't think that they'll decline it. We almost could ask for them to be a protectorate, which would be better than having all these colonies revolting all the time. And then it's after the Handuinis, who really have had a, they've really had it out for us. So let's get Charlie. Actually, we might as well, leave, we might as well move Charlie in. Charlie's not doing anything right now. So let's just move Charlie in and start mopping up some of these forces. We have a frigate here, frigate here, frigate here. I'm just looking down here. It says right here, frigate, right below the name. So that's that's easy enough. We'll get Charlie to move over here. 
and then maybe Bravo as well. And then Alpha will stay and just continue to defend um, Halmont. I mean, it's not, we don't own it. It's not really defense, but continue to blockade, I guess. It's the better way of saying that. So our first conquest, this is great. And here it goes. Wow, it did not that didn't take long at all. Good god. So they're already revolting. Oh my gosh. Uh this troop guy, do we have a dossier on him yet? Troop, 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 troop. Ground attack strength minus ten percent. Well he should have minus or he should have plus ten percent. This is a defense. They're attacking us. He's great at everything except for ground attacks. Well, that's not good. Troop recovery rate. I mean, this is going to be a great person to throw into um, a, a recovery planet. Yeah, So and, that, and defending a planet, he's fine at too. So we don't want to send him on the attack, though. Which means I really hope we can actually recruit a new troop general soon with all these land battles. Because we only have the one right now. And if we were able to get one more, we would actually really like to attack to attach that guy to the attacking forces and hopefully he has some kind of attacking bonus we're not gonna take these oh well you know what 2000 is so little no no, no we don't need it we'll get there eventually it really just gives our, our ships something to do did that oh yes we do have the, the Kyoto adventure has arrived let's actually go and grab this oh we already okay so we got this let's turn that hotkey off then okay good now the only one we need is this okay that that's good but oh do we have to repair the dispari one or was it just raided oh no 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 it was destroyed <laughs> it was destroyed i don't even remember what we were mining out here was it this one the tiderios terrellian down I, I no longer remember. Oh, probably this, the Castlon and Krypton. Yeah, okay, I'm sure that was it. It's not as necessary with the nice hyperdrives we have. We don't need to refuel in various places around the galaxy, but I'm going to leave that place, or sorry, I will leave Dispari untouched for just a little bit, just because uh, our main focus will be on the Handuinis, and then once we knock them out, it'll be safe enough. Good, 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 good. So at this point, my construction ship should have repaired. So the Wokar group. Is it Wokar? Yeah, it is. So you're fine. Yeah, all right. So let's get the Dagian group to refuel. But let's actually, yeah, okay. Let's get them move to just refuel at the nearest refueling point. Which is going to be there, I guess. Aurelion, the place we just conquered. Huh, strange. And then we'll get them after that to move over to Dagolin. Or Dagil. I don't know how you'd say that. Well, we can say it any way we want. Dagolin, sure. And these guys can go back to protecting the only thing worth protecting in this system. Which has been destroyed. Aha! So it's time to hotkey something up again. Wait, where was it? Is it this? I don't remember what we were trying to defend here. Is it one of these? Oh, it was this. Okay, so this will be the new... We'll get another... Whoops. Let's get this to be control 8. And we'll get the Wokot picket to defend that. I mean, it doesn't make sense to actually defend this. There's nothing here, but when we get this construction ship... Which one was it? Yeah, I thought we had a construction ship here. Yeah, the Grimy Odyssey. Why was it not? Oh, they're already building. Oh, they're in the process of building. Okay, good. So I guess it was this which we were going after. Okay, then, you know what? Just move to this moon right there. I didn't realize we were that far along in the reconstruction process. So Charlie's going, probably only need Alpha here to defend. Yeah, okay, they have these lone civilian ships. That's not that big of a deal. So let's just get Alpha. See if I can randomly grab an Alpha. There we go. You move here, and Bravo. You guys are moving out. You're moving to attack 
this. So we'll just hunt down all the gas, the all the mining stations. We'll destroy everything about. This is great, man. We're gonna destroy everything about the uh, Masadan Empire, except for their home planet. This feels very, very similar to the Honorverse lore, actually. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I should say. Looks like they're going to go after the Western gas mining station. Which I think we already have a defense for, don't we? Yeah, we have a picket. Where the hell is my picket? I... We don't have a picket for Westry? We don't. Well, we're going to have to pull off the Bill Garuth one then. That's fine. We obviously need another picket, though. So, wait, did, I, did we have enough ships? Let's try to keep track of things here. We only have two ships not in a fleet. This is the guy who was damaged, and we sent him back to Manticore. So he can now form the basis for a new fleet. We just need six other ships. And this is what we'll be spending a little bit of our extra money on, then. Manticore, please get me... One, two, three, four, five, six new tribal class destroyers. And these will eventually be obsolete. We're we're currently building them, but we'll be getting light cruisers out soon. Uh, these have been a very solid ship. They, I mean, you can see how well they've actually held up. Okay, we put down a rebellion. Let's just see how long it lasts before the, the next one of those. And unfortunately, my guess is not very long that they will revolt soon. How are our troops doing here? Oh, okay, we're still recruiting troops on this planet. We don't need to do that anymore. Yeah, they wanted to build up, like, a ton. Wait, where is this? Is this Manticore? No, no, not Manticore. This one. There we go. So we're trying to recruit a whole bunch of units here. Let's see, zero readiness, zero readiness, so disband. Yeah, we'll keep the one that's already like 71% done, but we will. Okay, this is a tax trade 160, 155, 190. Okay, so this is the one that we originally started with that we did not have upgraded, but just by going through combat, they're. Um, they're, they're experienced now in combat, so they are now almost as efficient as the original ones we, we can build. So they've made themselves significantly better. That's really good to see. I mean, it doesn't show because their readiness is 77, so, you know, it's a scaled-down version of, the, of what it would be at full strength. Nonetheless, I'm pretty happy. I'm very happy with this whole situation. Fluke Joe is ours. We could easily take that. Oh, that. Oh, you're going to refuel first. Okay. There it is. Wow, that did not. That did not take long. Good gracious. Another system. Two thousand. I. I don't even know what system we could possibly have not explored at this point. But let's go actually put a cut in the video here. So I'll. Yeah, I'll just put a cut here, and we'll come back in a little bit. This was less of a productive episode besides conquering a rel and I feel like I was sewn off the pace. So let's, I'm going to really try to pick that up again in the next one. Let's actually set some massive objective for us. In the next mission, I want to actually go in and destroy everything that's in Merker. I want to also get the troop transport, which is still on the way back, but get her loaded up and send her out to take Nanta Ray. Leave two troops there, so we'll take like maybe four troops with us. We only need to probably invade with only one for Nanta Ray, because we'll... Well, we might as well invade with all of them, but we only need to leave one as a garrison, because we'll be, like, an overwhelming favorite to, for those. So maybe I'll just grab... You know what we could do is even... I can get Manticore to actually recruit some more troops, which seems to make more sense. 
So we have one, two, three, four ready to go. Let's get one more. Let's get five. So let me garrison, ungarrison this one. And we'll garrison the one that we're just starting to recruit. So that way we can actually take five with us, which means we'll take we'll take five, we'll land two on Nanta Ray, and then we'll jump three over to Halmont, which is probably gonna need at least three, I'm guessing. We might even need four. I'll take a look at that off camera. So that's it. All right, that's our goal next time is take both Nanta Ray and Halmont, destroy everything else in Merkur except for the largest space station, and then we will allow peace to form before we move after the Handuinis. So good, well, we have our, our sights really targeted on specific things for next episode. But until then, thanks for watching and take care.